Sir, just up to now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, right. Sir, Okay, sir. Camera just call me. Camera is straight button. Import it. Narsimara of the one ever. Is that typo? Ah, right. Do you say to Penda? Do you say to Penda? Can Right, at Labatko. Back sign is your cover than Pitan. Okay, so 954, sir. 959 to start just now. Okay, sir. Thank you. This is live. Hello, YouTube live. Okay, sir, Jagar Taka. If you are in Japan, you are not in Japan. If you are in Japan, you are in Japan. If you are in Japan, you are in Japan. 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 Malin a class of Malanakal Jim, so over the P. Eco Jimmy in Japan class, which you can have. Economical Nipper Rudy. Light, light, light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No so, good thing. Sit tight. Be comfortable. Yes, sir. Now, within few minutes, we are starting class talk. We are starting class talk. Good morning, Mumba Madam.
and and lack here our physical develop imagine when you are in first class what is your uh, uh, actually your height maybe this much now you are grown like this okay it means physical growth and development age at the same time what about our maturity levels our psychological development our emotional development our social development also growth uh, takes place during this age for example at the age of uh, below first uh, first class up to 3 to 4 years if you go for a child and ask if you want chocolate yes i want chocolate how many chocolates you want while class that baby doesn't know the number but then come to after your class you want chocolate yes how many you say 10 12 this is a number it means how to behave with others how to behave culturally how to behave socially these all these we are learned a lot this is the growth and development and academically socially mentally psychologically physically growing takes place rapidly during this adolescence see here generally during the adolescence this is a transitional age at this age some person say that for example if you are this age you are not old enough for example you are going to take a decision your parents what your parents say you are not old enough you are a child so it's stay like this when you go for playing you are too old to play some other children says that are you a kid no. are you a kid no you are grown enough so from kids and children this type of comment will appear yes from elders this type of comment appears sir one minute we last correction is small only yeah. sir
Whenever the rapid growth and development takes place, we must require more and more energy. For the purpose of energy, we must intake some food. So the diet or food for an adolescent has to be carefully planned. Taking healthy and nutritive food is very important. Okay. See here. Whenever we are going to discuss about the food, so many food items are available around us. In your house, from your kitchen, while you are preparing so many types of foods. When we are going to a market, so many types of foods are available and see in the market and some shops. Okay. Why we take food? Anyone? Why we take food? So we are doing so many activities daily, so many metabolic activities takes place in our body internally. So for this reason, we must take food. Okay. What is healthy food? Now tell me. So many types of food items are available in the market, are in the shops, are in the bakeries, are in the our from our kitchen, from our uh, mother preparing. So according to your view, what is healthy food? The food cooking from mother and kitchen, right? Anyone? Vegetables. Anyone? Leafy vegetables, right? Fruits, vegetables. Rice, milk. Any other? Meat. Okay. So, when we are going to discuss about what is a healthy food, what is a healthy food? Is it enough to take only one? For example. See, what is your favorite food? Just to be uh, confirmed with for a few friends. What is your favorite food? Meat. Meat. What is your favorite food? So many? <laughs> don't come, don't come. Uh. Meat. What is your favorite food? Meat. Meat. Are you favorite food? food? What you are eating very nearly? So what is your favorite curry? Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Okay, okay, right, right. So, each and every one having his own favorite dish. Someone fish, someone chicken curry, someone mutton, someone fruit, someone bitter gourd, someone red finger like. Okay? So, here, why do you like it? We are having our own interest. Okay. Is only a favorite food sufficient to curry? For example, if one person interests her favorite food is fish or chicken biryani, so if he eat daily chicken biryani, is it enough for growth and development? No. So we know that these food items, even though our favorite food item is there, but that only favorite food item is not enough. For our growth and development. Not only growth and physical growth and development, social, psychological, emotional. Okay. So here, do you know the essential components of it? Generally, during the rapid growth and physical growth and business during the adolescence, during this adolescence, do you know about which food do you take for your healthy? Right, are healthy growth and all. Do you know? See here. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals, fibers are essential components of our food. We call them nutrients. We call them nutrients. Besides this, water is also important. Of course, even though our favorite dish is there for you, but we want to balance all these food components or all these nutrients 
in our in our food. Okay. The food that contains all the the food that contains all which all as we discussed all the food component. Yes, sir. Are we? This is all the nutrients. Which nutrients like? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and the fiber in a proper proportion is called a balanced diet. So first of all, we must understand the concept of balanced diet. Balanced diet means not the mixture of all these, uh, general mixture of all these food components. Balance that means this is a proper proportion. For example, how much food components, sorry, how much percentage of carbohydrates should be there in our How much percentage, how much proportion of fat must be there in our How much proportion of proteins must be there in our Okay, generally we know that the proportion of carbohydrate is more than the proteins. Proteins are more than the fats, but of course you must add vitamins and minerals and fiber also. Vitamins and minerals and fiber also. Okay. So how we get these components will be discussed. But first of all, we must know about there is a proper proportion of blend mixture is there that food components mixture and blending is called a balanced diet. Okay. Make your diet a balanced diet. How to make our diet as a balanced diet? How to make? See here. Taking green salads and vegetables are winning. Taking foods like cereals, pulses, Milk, etc. Adding milk, adding it sufficiently plenty. Taking a bit of fat, contains oil, ghee, butter, etc. Eat seasonal food, whatever food available in which season. You eat, you consume that food. It will boost our immunity. It will give some vitamins and minerals. For example. Some misconceptions are there. For example, it is heat to eat mangoes in summer. Of course, mangoes are available in summer only. Some person says, don't eat mangoes. That means you should boil heat. So many misconceptions are there. So you do not forget about the misconceptions. Eat seasonal foods. For example, guava is available in the winter season. Someone says, if we eat guava, some cold you will affect. That's wrong. Okay. Don't forget to supplement your daily diet with green salads and vegetables. So this will lead to our fulfilling the needs and requirements of the balance diet. Source of food. So we know that for our Adolescence, proper growth and development, we must require a balanced diet. In the balanced diet, some food components are there. How to take that food components or what are the sources of the food components? Sources. Okay. So to take carbohydrates, imagine you have to take carbohydrates. What to eat in our food? What to take in our food? Grains such as bread, noodles, pasta, crackers, salads, and rice. If you take this one, so we are taking carbohydrates. Proteins, you want to take proteins. Animal based foods, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy foods. Plant based foods are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. Particularly in pulses. We know the Telugu language popular. Pulses. So pulses are rich in proteins. Rich in proteins. Next batch. One is ghee, butter, cheese, oil. Someone 
they are adding sweets in their lunch or dinner. Those contribute fats. Those contribute to fats. Next, vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals and fiber both available from vegetables, leafy vegetables, fruits, whole grains. So these are the sources of balanced diet. Remember that in the adolescent age you must take the balanced diet. First thing. Second thing in the balanced diet there is a proper proportion of food components. Proper proportion. Not the general proportion as you mix. Okay. Do you know which foods are to be eaten moderately, adequately, plenty and sparingly? This is very much important. Adolescents like you. Which food we have to take plenty, sufficient, or which quantities? That foods like cereals. Pulses, milk, etc. should be taken adequately, plenty and sufficiently. Okay, fruits, leafy vegetables, and other vegetables should be used in plenty. Cooking oils and animal foods should be used moderately. Very generally, less quantity than the above. Manaspati, ghee, butter, cheese must be used. It means they will contribute to the fats. Whenever we are working and we are working very hard, then only we will take the fats in high quantity. If not, this quantity is balanced diet is cheap eating. Whenever we are discussing about the balanced diet, of course, adolescents and children, you. And your parents must be educated in this regard. This class class not only for you, for your parents, for your neighbors also. You must educate them. Seventy percentage of the malnutritious diseases caused by the balance, lack of balance. So whenever they must imagine that oh we must take balanced diet it means balanced diet is very costly that is a misconception balanced diet is actually very cheap making our food is a, as a balanced diet is very much cheap how scientists have found out that a balanced diet need not necessarily be costly everyone can afford it even the poor the person eats dal, dal means pulses, popul, rice, lotus, green vegetables, little oil, little oil, and jaggery, jaggery, bellum, telugu bellum, jaggery. All the food requirements of the body of someone says that someone cooking curries. They are frying, deep frying in oil. The misconception is that when we are deep frying the curries in our oil, then only this is the rich and good food. That's now. Okay. Just see here. Rice, dal, roti, some vegetable curry. That's enough. This will fulfill our balance. Effects of the components. See here. Whenever we are taking carbohydrates, they will use instant energy. We are taking carbohydrates, they will digest very easily. And they will use instant energy. Proteins. As we know, proteins are the building blocks of our body. Our proper purpose of physical growth and development. Proteins are very much required. Is it right? Next, fats. Gives more energy. Whenever we are doing very physical hard work, physical hard work, if we require more energy, then some person takes fat. They gives more energy. Vitamins and minerals to keep us healthy. For immune boosters, for a disease resistance, power also uh, increased by this vitamins and minerals. And fiber. 
they remove trans tension. If any undigested material is there, it will remove very smoothly from his uh, disposal from smoothly from his body. When then we take adequate amount of fiber only. Okay. It is important to take balanced diet for overall growth and development during adolescence. So this is our conclusion. For our overall growth and development, what we have to take? What we have to take? Balanced balance. diet. In balanced diet, the proper proportion of food components are there and we must take the balanced diet for our smooth growth and development. Right? What will happen if we do not take the balanced diet? Up to now we discussed about the need, necessity, source and concept of balance. Now tell me, what will happen? Even though we understood about that, if during adolescence, balance that is very much required. But some person says, well, if you do not take the balance of that, what will happen? What will happen? See here. Lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. Lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. Poor nutrition. Our diet should be a balanced one which contains proper amount of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, mineral salts and fats. However, lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. What type of malnutrition? Malnutrition may be protein malnutrition, calorie malnutrition, protein and calorie malnutrition. It means so many types of malnutritional diseases are there. We are going to discuss about one to three. Okay. See here, diseases due to malnutrition. Diseases due to this is not a contagious disease. Unto we are called. This disease, due to malnutrition, is not taking balance of diet. He is suffering with which disease? Quashiarca. This is Quashiarca. This is due to protein deficiency in diet. Body parts become swollen due to accumulation of water in the intercellular spaces. Very poor muscle development, swollen legs, floppy face, difficult to eat, diarrhea, dry skin are the symptoms of this. Imagine, he looks like a very fat person, but this is not proper growth and development. This is the body swollen. Body swollen. Why? When the proteins are available, proper muscle and growth and development is no proteins. So there is a gap. There is a yeah. gap. So water accumulated is there. No proteins. That gap is filled by water. So the body is swollen. See here. Marasmus. But this is yeah. poorly nourished. Poorly yeah. nourished. This is due to deficiency of growth, proteins and calories. No carbohydrates are there, no proteins are there. The person is very poor, poorly nourished. Generally, this disease occurs when there is an immediate second pregnancy or repeated childbirth. Lean and weak, less developed muscles, dry skin, diarrhea, etc. are the symptoms of the disease. Okay. So, see, this is one more, obesity, one more, of course, this is related to malnutrition, not poorly nourished, this is highly available of highly, see, apart from the deficiency diseases, those two are deficiency, those two are deficiency. But here, the constant intake of high calorie food, 
Okay? It is better to avoid it than good. Why to take, why to purchase the junk food? Why to eat the junk food? And why to harmful our body? So it is better to avoid junk food. So once again, summarize as key points what we have discussed up to now. As we discussed about the concept of balanced diet, are you understood about the concept of balanced diet? Yes, sir. The proper proportion of food components. Components of balanced diet. Anyone? Anyone? Please able to tell about the components of balanced diet. Anyone? What are the components of balanced diet? Anyone with the balanced diet? Converted? Converted? Anyone? Anyone? Stand? Start with stand? Come here. Tell me, what are the food components of balanced diet? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Flavors. And last one? Fibers. Fibers. Fiber. Very good. Very good. So, these are the components of balanced diet. Sources of plants, as we know, carbohydrates available from rice, nuts, etc., and proteins available from as you know, so effects of balanced diet and balanced diet versus malnutrition. These are the topics we discussed up to now. Lack of balanced diet leads to malnutrition. Okay. Anyone? What did you understand by the term of parasitic? Parasitic means? Anyone? Yeah. Proper proportion of food components. Eating the proper proportion of food components. Right. What are the components of parasitic? Just now, Sapkita said. List out the sources. As you know. Next. See here, here is a diagram. The picture is there. By eating potatoes, see here, by eating potatoes, which food component we will take? Potatoes, potatoes. Carbohydrates. Only uh, pindi, carbohydrates. Okay. By eating leafy vegetables. Which food component? Leafy vegetables. Proteins. Vitamins. By eating fruits. Vitamins and minerals. Fiber also. By taking oil. Fats. By taking oil, by taking fats. Okay. By taking a carrot. Proteins. Vitamins and minerals. So like that. Make a list of food items from this picture. So we completed the topic about significance of balanced diet in adolescence. And uh, to the 8th class English medium students and JPS and Pali. And one more small uh, issue is that this is your feedback. I will distribute you these feedback forms to each and everyone. Each and everyone. See here. How the significance of balance to that? What is the significance of balance to that? In adolescent topic, useful for you. Is the topic useful for you? Is it useful or not? Yes. Useful, very good. So was the topic introduced appropriately? If it is the topic understood by you or not? Yes. Okay. What is the significance of parents and diet in adolescent topic? Is interesting for you? Yes. Is this type of topic interesting for you or not? Yes, sir. Content of the interview. Like this, so many questions are there. You just Write your signature, 
for your comments in here and 1 2 3 4 5 rating scale is there 5 is the highest 1 is the highest if you tick for 5 it is excellent 4 very good good average okay next you can see your signature here your comments okay oh, oh. so this is about my class talk under the fulfillment of diploma coaching guidance and counseling which is conducted by the RIU Marishu under NCERT myself and Prabhakar D DC DC 2022-28 thank you thank you very much thank you sir 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 all of you and the classmates all of you anyone from your suggestion please Maharaj sir, Sridhar sir, Delicious madam, thank you, thank you madam, Delicious madam for Puducherry, Pondicherry, Maharajan sir, Any suggestions? Any madam? Thank you, thank you, madam. Any other? Madam, madam. Madam, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Shall we stop, sir? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Close.